Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 1st, 2010. This week, how to save project pieces to a new folder in Photoshop Elements and Photoshop. This week, a customer wrote with an interesting dilemma in Photoshop Elements. She was working on a digital project and she had chosen a number of digital papers and embellishments to use. As it often happened, she was interrupted before she could finish her project. She wondered if there was a quick way to save all of her open files and the project that she had started, so that the next time she had a few minutes to create, she could just open all of these items again without having to spend her precious time searching for them. It turns out that Photoshop Elements has a feature that performs just this function. When you have several items open in Elements, choose File, Process Multiple Files. This opens up a dialog box. Under Process Files From, choose Open Files. Under Destination, click the Browse button. I'm going to put this folder on my desktop, so I'll click Desktop and then Make a New Folder. At this point, I need to give my folder a new name. And click OK. Be sure to make a note of where you're creating the new folder so that you'll be able to find it. Leave file naming, image size, file type, and all of the other boxes unchecked. And then click OK. One by one, your files will close, but they'll be saved in the folder that you've indicated under destination. This does not move your original files or overwrite them, it simply creates a copy of them in your new folder. The next time you have a few minutes to work on the project, simply open all of the items and elements and you're ready to create. Select File, Open, and then browse to your folder. I put the folder on my desktop and I called it Project Pieces. Hold down the Shift key as you click the first and the last element in the folder and then click Open. And you'll see that they populate here in your editing window. If you're working in the full version of Photoshop, you won't have the Process Multiple Files dialog box. Instead, you'll choose File, Scripts, and Image Processor. Use the following settings. Use Open Images, select Folder, click the location and make a new folder, and click OK. Under File Type, you'll need to save as a Photoshop file because you'll want to save all of the transparency of your PNG images and all of the layers in your Photoshop files. Next, check Maximize Compatibility and leave everything else unchecked and then click Run. This will convert all of the open files to Photoshop format, but it will save them in a folder for you just like we showed before. Is there a technique that has you stopped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.